My name's Aaron Croman, and I'm going to show you how to multiply in Photoshop. Uh, multiplying is kind of adding color to something until it's kind of as dark as it can be. And it works well for like when coloring uh, uh, drawings uh, with black lines, and also when coloring black and white pictures. So we have a black and white image, uh, and well, you know what, I want to color it. It's a little too black and white for me be honest. Maybe you want to select a few areas I want colored and kind of make them pop. So I'm going to take a color, uh, maybe a little kind of orangish. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm currently using a kind of a normal brush. Uh, let's just make sure, yeah, 19. I would maybe go a little bit bigger. And I'm going to set the mode, the coloring mode, to multiply. And what Multiply does is it kind of adjusts the color uh, without uh, touching the tone. Uh, so it's still the same uh, black and white uh, and colors of gray, but you're just adding a little tint to it. You're adding a tint of color to the uh, thing that you're coloring. Since Multiply tints the tones uh, it doesn't really do anything to black, which makes it a very good for when you're making drawings. So yeah, I'm not going to color in the lines too much. And this is good for, you know, you can make something pop out and make, you know, uh, some movies have things uh, specifically colored. Now, what... What I did right here is something you have to watch out for is when you're using the br when you're using the multiply mode with the brush if you recolor over an area it's going to multiply that color as well and then you do that again and it will make it even darker depending on uh, how much you have on there and see when I go outside of it it's still the same color but it just makes that color uh, more saturated so let's go with a, so let's go with a different color. I'm going to take off the multiply. I'm going to go back to normal. And I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to change the color. Uh, let's make it just kind of a boring brown. And make the brush uh, right click to open up the brush preset menu and just kind of And this looks just like how you're coloring with markers or something just just uh, crude and everything. Not even going to paint in the lines. Ha! That's what I think of your lines. And uh, just kind of crude. R color all over the tree, too. Well, let's use multiply. Let's uh, change the layer uh, mode to multiply. And here it's doing the same exact thing as it did with the uh, uh, when we were painting directly on the picture. Except the difference is, let's put it back to normal, uh, is that no matter how much you color over this, it's still going to stay the same color because all you're doing is you're using the entire layer and turning it to multiply. This way, uh, it won't do that. But if you go to your back to your brush and hit multiply, it'll still change it into different colors. So a few uh, little tips and tricks to keep in mind. My name is Aaron Croman. Good luck with your art.